I think I have a way that people can make money on egg laying chickens. Do you think it's possible? No! You guys said it <laughs> wasn't possible. You looked at all the numbers. I can't even believe it. Uh -huh. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I think you could actually make money with egg laying chickens. So, let's get, let's get into it. What are you getting? Don't eat it. Don't eat Don't what? Eat Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. What you got there? Got what you got? Pink eggs. Got some pink eggs? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go get the others. We've talked a lot about the topic of making money from egg laying chickens and how hard it is to do. In this episode of the Homesteady Podcast, we talked about whether or not they save you money and uh, the answer that we came to was not really. It's not really a great way to save money by raising farm fresh chickens. You can save a little money, but there's better ways to do it. Uh, and then in this episode of the podcast, we talked about can you actually make money raising farm fresh chickens. And we interviewed uh, some farmers who do way more chicken business than we do. And again, the, the answer we came to was it's not a great way to make money. <laughs> Wrath of the guineas. So how can you make money off of farm fresh chickens? It's something I've been trying to figure out for the last five years of running this farm business. I think I have a solution for homesteaders. Now this is hypothetical because I haven't done this actual business model yet. So this is kind of like a toss out to you guys in the YouTube community uh, to see somebody this year should try this and tell me how it goes. Now it's hypothetical because I haven't done this exact business model. It's not hypothetical in the sense that I actually know how much it costs me to raise these birds and feed them and all that. So, so here's, there's some good numbers. In the last video in this chicken series, which we're doing this week, uh, we talked about how a, a family of four who's homesteading should have somewhere between five to seven chickens. And that would mean in the summertime, you'd probably have more eggs than you need and you'd be able to sell a couple. But then winter comes and your chickens stop laying and all those people who started coming and giving you five bucks every week for your farm fresh eggs, now there's no eggs and they get a little annoyed and they go find a new farm to do business with. So if you want to make money from homestead chickens, egg layers, uh, you're gonna need to buy more than five to seven. I would consider doubling your flock. Now don't get too crazy if you've never done this before. If whatever you can fit in your coop is probably a good surplus to add. But if you win somewhere between 10 to 15 chickens, now remembering the figure we talked about in the last episode, 200 eggs to 250 per year, if you have 10 chickens and you're getting 200 eggs out of each of them, you're gonna have 2,000 eggs. That means you're gonna have 500 extra eggs or more to sell to your customers. If you're going to raise chickens uh, to make money off of them, to get them to the point of lay usually costs me about $10. Now I'm using organic feed. I am buying it in bulk, uh, so it might be a bit of a wash, uh, but you might have feed that's a different price, so don't rely on my prices. Look at the system, not the prices. So I spend about $10 to get a chicken to point of lay. Let's say you wanna have about 15 chickens, enough to feed your family and sell extras to your neighbors. I would suggest ordering double that. Order 30 chickens from the hatchery. Here's why. Point of lay chickens are a great way to make money. This is our guinea aviary experiment. We tried to build an aviary for the guineas. So bud, how much money did you make from your egg business this year? You made enough money to buy a nice Lego set, right? Yeah. What set did you buy? Uh, Ty Striker from Rogue One. Mm -hmm. My son made enough money with egg laying chickens this year to buy a Ty Striker from Rogue One and to buy three turkeys that he's going to make into his business this year. He earned the bulk of that money selling point of lay hens. 
Last year we put up on Craigslist an ad for point lay hens. It cost us $10 to raise them and we sold them all for 20 bucks. That's a $10 profit on a chicken. And because you're not feeding it for the rest of its life, you're not spending any more money on it, that's a pretty good profit. Let's say you bought 30 chickens. To get 30 chickens to the point of lay is gonna cost you $300, or at least it's cost me about $300. Again, it might be cheaper for you if your feed is cheaper. So $300 to get to the point of lay. So you have 30 birds, but that's way more eggs than you wanna deal with and way more egg business than you have. Take half that flock of 30 chickens, sell 15 of them at $20 per bird, and guess how much money you're going to bring in? $300, the exact cost of bringing all your birds to point of lay. Now 15 birds go off to local crazy chicken ladies on Craigslist, and that leaves you with 15 egg layers, which cost you no money to raise because you earn that back in selling off half your flock. Now you have 15 egg layers that are essentially for free. They just got handed to you. And at that point, feeding them throughout the rest of their life and selling the eggs, you would be profitable. So how much money could you make with those 15 remaining chickens? Let's say those 15 remaining chickens lays our average of around two, 250, maybe 225. You'll get in one year's time around 3,000, maybe 3,300 eggs. If you're a family of four and you go through about 1,500 of those eggs yourself, what are you left with? 1,875 eggs. Again, this is a little hypothetical here. 1,875 eggs, that is when you divide it by 12, about 150 dozen eggs. 150 dozen eggs times $5 per dozen, if that's what you were charging, $780 gross income. Not counting the 300 that you made off of the sale of those original birds. So total $1,000 in gross for 30 birds, 15 of which went to somebody else. That's how you can make $1,000 from your chickens this year. Now that's a gross figure. And again, this is based off of my figures on feed. I also didn't tell you how much it takes within that next year in feed while the chickens are laying. That was just feed to the point of lay. So $1,000 gross. It doesn't mean you're gonna get $1,000 profit. But what it does mean is that you will be profitable on your chicken operation. And if you're not a big scale farm with hundreds and hundreds of chickens, if you're just a homesteader who really enjoys having chickens and would like to have the chickens and the eggs essentially for free, actually get paid a little bit of money to do it, well this could be the way to do it. Again, this is hypothetical. I haven't tried this. It's just an idea. It's winter time and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking of good ideas for this year for making a little bit of money and growing your homestead. If you are, I would love to hear your ideas. So in the comments below, tell us the ways that you're gonna grow your homestead and maybe make a little bit of income from it. Share it with the rest of our uh, YouTube community here. A, a great way to get more from this channel is to interact in the comments below. And I check the comments every day, so if you have any questions about this idea or any other ideas, be sure to ask and I'll answer your questions in the comments below. I check them every day. If you like this idea, be sure to give a thumbs up to our video. It helps other people find our videos. Maybe even share it on Facebook or some other social media. We would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.